Whoa! Yes, good morning everyone. My name's Matt and I'm from MV Fishing Oz. Thanks for joining me this morning on the lovely Boggy Creek down here in uh, the, the bottom of the Brisbane River, out the mouth. Today I'm fishing for flathead, my target species. And uh, it's probably one of my most, uh, yeah, my favorite species of fish to catch. I typically use uh, soft plastics like little curly tail grubs or paddle tail shads. As you've seen in other episodes, I don't mind trolling a lure occasionally, especially my little diver double clutch. Going to see how I go this morning. The, the planets should be aligned. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Now that was pretty cool. If you saw that osprey come down and smash a bait fish, that was probably the coolest thing. What we're doing is we're working along this main channel. So uh, at the moment, uh, it's coming up a couple of hours before the high tide. So right now, um, we're just on the verge of the, um, the drop off. And I don't know if you can see it there on the screen. I'll just see if I can make that a bit lighter. Um, so it comes down to around two and a half to three metres um, in quite a, a steady little drop off. So what you have to do when you're fishing in these estuaries is use your sounder, look for your edges, look for your drop offs because that's typically where fish are going to be hiding and um, flooded are ambush predators. Being ambushed they like to, to lie and wait for a, a tasty little morsel to come along uh, similar to this. So let's see how we go. Whoa! Fish on! <laughs> oh no! Bitten off! Wow! I don't know what that was, but that bit right at the boat. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Oh well, there's definitely fish here. Holy sh! Whew. The old heart rate's going now. Whatever that was, followed it right to the kayak. That was full on. So I'm just gonna switch over to this paddle shad by Gobbler's Lures, it's a UV crook bait, 3.75 inch. This thing's deadly on flathead. I've seen a lot of people have a lot of great success. We're using a one, oh, it's probably a bit of a heavy jig head, but it's one sixth ounce anyway. It's, it's uh, I'm using a slightly uh, heavier hook in a, in a 2.0 size. Let's see how this goes. Oh, fish on. But a little floody on the UV crock bait. Haha, <laughs> excellent. Jeez, he's inhaled that. I'm curious, there's not a single other soul on the water. Not a boat, not a kayak. Makes me feel like I've missed the memo. Anyway, I've got the whole place to myself, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, fish on. Whoa, here we go. Fish on. This might be a good flathead. Did the burn and kill uh, retrieve? Yep. Oh, good, decent flatty. Ah, uh, not bad. 
on the UV crock bait. Just got to take it nice and steady. Yeah, just towards the end there, I just changed that uh, retrieve up a little bit. The burn and kill, so you do a couple of fast winds, and um, yeah, he was only about probably six to ten feet from the boat, so the lure probably wasn't even on the bottoms. All right, let's let's just take it nice and steady. See if we can get this nice little model on board. A couple of head shakes. Jeez, it's. Um, This is the, the risky part when you're um, trying to bring it on board. Get in there. All right. Very good. Very nice. Wonderful. So the Gobbler's Lures UV crock bait with a with a hint of a hint of. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. A bit of something something. S factor. Well, that's pretty nice. Oh, and I just had him lipped. There you go. UV crock bait, gobbler's lures, does the damage. And I need to get myself a flatty finger because old mate's chomping down on my hand. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, dusky flathead. This is a beautiful little model. It'd probably go, I don't know, 40, 45 centimeters. I love flathead, and uh, so does the family. So I reckon she'll be coming on board. Fantastic. Okay, so we're on the board, which is great. So we've got ourselves a lovely dusky flathead on the, the Gobbler's Lures Bragmat. So this one goes in at uh, 50, Oh, let's call it 56 centimeters. That's an excellent start to the day, but I'm really pumped. Fish on, what have I got? We got a flatty, little flatty banger. Jeez, that's a weird and wonderful setup he's got here. He's wrapped around. And around. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> A cruise ship terminal flooding. So growing up fishing with dad and the tinny, we always used to say, pour a cup of tea or have something to eat and the fish will start biting. So let's, uh, let's see if that rings true. Fish on. Okay, we have fish on on the dial double clutch, the laser IU. Oh, it's a brim. <laughs> Hello, brim. What's going on, big fella? Not a bad little bycatch catch when you're chasing flatties. Beautiful silver colour. Big teeth. See you later. It's gone a bit quiet the last few hours and hopefully going to catch up with my dad very soon. He's up at the boat ramp and then we might flick a few soft plastics as the as the tide sort of continues to, to run out. A little flooding. Very quiet flooding. Ah, oh, that's better than a kick in the face. I reckon so. There we go, ladies and gents. A little boggy creek flooded on the UV crock bait 3.75 inch paddle shad. Deadly little soft plastic. There you go, boys and girls. Lovely one. <laughs> hey, what a what a mongrel. I just park up in front of you and start catching fish. <laughs> How long you been here? Yeah, dad's been here for a couple of hours and I just park up in the yak in about two meters of water and pick up a nice flatty for him. So he's, I think he's quietly got the shits with me at the minute because he's only just there. <laughs> Wave to the camera, Dad. <laughs> oh, that's a crack up. All right, so we had a, a very good morning down Boggy Creek. 
got into a few flathead. We went down to the, the cruise ship terminal to have a bit of a muck around and I decided that was it was a, a pretty crap idea. The current was running too fast, the wind was blowing and the coppers were constantly shooing us away from um, a US warship even though we were not within Kui but hey look this thing's a uh, pretty imposing little rig. So hope you enjoyed the show. Stay tuned, we've got more episodes of MV Fishing Oz coming up shortly. Be good, have a great week, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.